Hey everybody, welcome to Meddling World as I take a beautiful walk here on the Celebration Trail System right here in Celebration, Florida. I'm on my way to try a brand new bagel shop that just opened here at Celebration Point. It's called Jeff's Bagel Run. So come on in, check it out. So yes, I figured I'd take a walk over this time, guys. Uh, I usually, when I do an update from Celebration Point, which is the new shopping plaza, you could say the strip mall, the shopping center area here in Celebration, lots of different stores beginning to open. I usually start the vlog at Celebration Point in the uh, parking lot, but I figured I kind of show you a different perspective today. Take you on a little adventure as we love to do on Meddling World. So please take a moment, subscribe to Meddling World if you haven't yet. This is part, these trails here that you see I'm walking on, these go all over the town of Celebration, Florida. You can literally get all around town through the beautiful, I call it the jungle because it's just very natural trees that are growing out here, but they have this beautiful decking that they maintain as you can see when one of the boards goes bad you can see the newer boards get put in it's maintained beautifully kind of swampy down there and again that you can ride bikes you can walk whatever you like roller skate skateboards and it goes all over town this one in particular will come out right across the street from Publix Point the new shopping center so I'm looking forward to showing you that uh, perspective of how to get into the area and also I'm not a huge bagel eater or I should say I don't I can't really distinguish the difference between great bagels and average bagels and poor bagels I don't eat them enough but I do hear people talk about specifically if where I used to live in the northeastern part of United States that for one, pizza is absolutely better in the Northeast than it is in Florida. That I can tell the difference. But with bagels, I'm interested to see, like, the hype. Let me try the bagel, and I'll kind of compare it, I guess, to other bagels. I don't know. I'll do my best, but like I said, I just, I'll go to Panera and have a bagel, Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, I'll buy bagels at the store, so I'm not big big on bagels but i do want to show off jeff's bagel run because i hear it is good there are now three locations here in central florida uh so it's a smaller business but it is expanding so yeah i want to give the community and people coming to visit an opportunity to get the information they need if they do like bagels i know they have several different kinds of bagels they have different spreads and they have some coffee drinks as well as some bottle beverage but uh, in my research on their app they don't really have much more than that they don't have bagel sandwiches where you can get like you know some uh, eggs and bacon and cheese or anything along that line it's just basically it's bagels it's the spreads for the bagels and it's the coffees uh, in the bottle drinks it's it's very basic it seems so We'll go over. I'll get a couple bagels probably, some of the different spreads, and we'll try them out. Another interesting thing I noticed is they kind of have a highlighted bagel each day of the week. If you go on their app, it's pretty cool. They have a nice app. It's very easy to use. So I was checking through there. I'll show you guys the app. Uh, maybe we'll get the bagels, find a place to eat them, and I'll show you the app too. So we're almost up to the road. As you can see now, this is where I walked from. It's the trail system comes out here. That guy will definitely get a ticket for speeding in Celebration, Florida. That I can guarantee you. But anyway, when you come out of the... Uh, if you're walking, you can come out of the trail system. Off to the left, down that way, is the high school. Okay, so the high school to the left. If you look that way at the light, that's World Drive. So if you went down World Drive or you were coming off... That's Disney. That's all Disney World. You get down World Drive, you can get on I-4 there. Either way. Uh, west or East. And then you'll end up right in the heart of Disney. Magic Kingdom, Epcot, right off World Drive. So that's where you would come down. And this is the other perspective how to get into 
Celebration Point, the new shopping area as I cross the street. We'll walk together across the street. That's going to be Walgreens coming along pretty well. And you got to be careful here, guys. I will tell you, though, Celebration, if you're driving through Celebration, as the cars let me go through, I'm going to tell you right now, do not speed in Celebration. There are a lot of officers, deputies, troopers. They, they will hold you very accountable to uh, respecting the speeds around town. But here we go. So there's a sign. You guys follow the channel. You're kind of familiar with where we are now. So let's head up. Let's try Jeff's bagel run. Just to kind of show you Slim Chickens is there. The imaging, the Advent Health imaging. And then when you get over to this block of buildings, Jeff's bagel run right there near the Lee Nails and Spa. So I'm going to go ahead, walk across. I can't wait to go inside and look. From what I've seen, like pictures and social media and stuff, it kind of just looks like it's like a quick service you just counter. But let's head in together and find out. Jeff's Bagel Run, right here, hours of operation. So limited hours, only seven to two. My first time in, let's see what we're gonna get. Oh yeah, it's pretty small in here. Let's have a little look around. Oh my gosh. It smells so good in here, guys. It's unbelievable. Nice high ceilings. Again, very basic. So a single bagel is $2. You can get a half dozen for 10. Full dozen, 17. Then the different spreads. They have some of their coffees. And that's pretty much it. It's very basic and simple if you like bagels. And then there's some to-go drinks I'll show you, but let's have a look. I think there's some seating over around the corner here, if I go around. Yeah, limited seating, just a little bench. So again, not a lot to it. Oh, here we go. So here are all the different bagels they have. Nice little menu, actually. I like that. I'll just scan it down so you guys can have a look. The different ones. And on the back, all the different spreads they have. All right, guys, I'm gonna jump in line and I'll get a couple bagels. They also have this little to-go. Looks like they have some salads there. It's actually lox in a box. Lox in a box, yep, that's, awesome. Has salmon, tomato, onion, capers, cream cheese. It's got the works. Nice. And then look, they have these nice apple juices, some to-go drinks. And some different spreads there. I just I just want one bagel. Oh, that's cool. And then here's all the bagels. I guess they're sold out of a few. So if you come a little bit later, like I have, it's around 11. Uh, the popular ones kind of go. And then there's still plenty left. But keep in mind, later in the day, maybe less options. All right. Oh, I got to show you some of those desserts too there real quick. And then I'm going to order a few. Then they have these like desserts. Looks like like a chocolate chip like cookie bar. cookie bar that's maybe a s'mores one s'mores, yeah. oh, i'm doing all right and then like fruity pebbles or something oh i'm doing good all right let me order something guys and we'll try it out together in a moment so guys this is this is the owner jeff here so they are actually expanding they're starting to build more and more of these all around and actually they're going to try to do it throughout the whole united states so and also shout out to the awesome staff here they were really great explained everything so i got my stuff here i got what six of them because it's ten dollars for six so uh it's almost like you get a free one right and then i got some spreads now this is the dilemma is there's really nowhere to sit inside so what i gotta do is kind of look around outside somewhere to sit because it's just really four little benches and if somebody's sitting on it you're kind of stuck there so we'll head outside and find a place to try these so i just came from right there that that build that that set of buildings right there is where the jeff's bagel run is so i just kind of walked across the parking lot there's some benches here they have the nice trees which i did mention before now i'm utilizing them i said i like that they had the benches near the trees when i was touring this area for shade so we have some shade there are several benches so you could come over here and eat them i you know i i wish 
I get the idea. The idea, you know, to me, it's come in, grab your bagels, and, and keep it moving. So it's not a very big place. And I get the idea of it, but I'm excited to try these guys. So um, the problem is I'm not going to know what's what. So I got a bunch of different ones. I got different spreads. So obviously here, this one is the bagel of the day. Uh, I'm going to look back again and see on their app. Give me a chance to show you the app. Let's try this one together. That sounds like a good idea. And then I got some different ones. I'm going to bring them home with Roberta. We'll try a couple though. I'll try a couple bites. They do not toast them either. It was kind of strange. I asked, could I get my bagel toasted? And they say they don't, they don't toast them, I guess, because they make them fresh each day and they slice them only. But I, I don't know if it's some kind of a tradition or really what the reasoning is they said that it would take away from them being warm and hot if they if they toasted them so i guess that's that's what they told me i like i said i'm not huge on bagels don't really understand the, the point of that but if i went in there for one bagel and i just wanted it toasted to eat you can't you can't do it they don't have a toaster maybe you know if enough people say something maybe they'll get one i don't know i like my bagels toasted but let's find out how these things taste that's the most important thing i know there's a bit of a glare there but i just kind of wanted to highlight that the the bagel of the day when you go on the app they'll show you the different bagels of the day today it's the cinnamon sugar which we will try and then you can go through each day of the week it'll show you the abbey garlic bread so each day of the week different one and then you can download the app i pretty much showed you guys uh the menu the app is nice you can do an order on it let me get that but again most important thing is let's try them but the bagel a day i think is kind of cool so they highlighted that let's give it a try so i got the three because you get three for five um this one i'm sure is the um i think it was chive onion and chive that one looks like that maybe the thing is i don't know what's what i got like a jalapeno one i got a veggie one and then the onion and chive i believe it was let's try to play guessing games here i don't know how good it's going to taste on a cinnamon sugar let's see here oh give me a moment guys all right so i put all three let's see if we can we'll try all three here show you the texture of that bagel and there's that cinnamon sugar on there Ooh, interesting can't wait to try it let me weigh this down so it does not blow away on me all right this is a little bit difficult this is why i wish i had a table right now but anyway we make do because i vlogged the way it would be for you guys if you came all right let's try this one first see if we can figure out exactly what it is That one had to have been like the veggie one. Didn't feel any spice, didn't taste a lot of like onion or garlic or anything. Mm. Yeah, that was a veggie one. Tastes good. No, bagel tastes good. Let me try a bite just of the bagel. It's actually not bad when it's not toasted. What I like about it. I'm no expert, but it's got, you know, when you buy, bagels are kind of chewy to begin with, but this one is, it's moist, so it's fresh, it's definitely fresh, and it's got a chew, it's chewy, but not to the point where you got to just keep, as you guys can see, you, you get a nice chew, and then you're able to kind of just finish it off, you know? Let's try that spread. That's the hot one. Yeah, that's the hot one. Mm. But not like overpowering. That's the jalapeno. It's nice because at first it's just creamy and nice. It actually tastes good with this with the cinnamon. It's like sweet. 
and then a little bit of heat i like that one a lot now let's try this last one i can't even remember the spreads i got now so confused with all of this it's tough because they don't label the bagels either so if you get multiple bagels you got to kind of figure out what they are along with the spreads like i don't know what spreads what so that's another kind of i get it probably you know what are you going to do label every single spread every single bagel probably a little difficult to do that as a business but it's kind of like random right now mm. that was my favorite mm -hmm. so I'm totally confused of which one's what that one tasted more like the veggie one now. So maybe the first one I had was the, the, the onion, chive, whatever. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. I flogged for real. But the last one was definitely more of a veggie. Nice smooth spread. It tastes good. Guys, I do like the bagels. I think they're fine. Uh, I'm going to kill this one off. And then let's try. Maybe we'll try one more. So I know I got an Asiago cheese. I got the blueberry. I have a plain in there. I did get like a cheddar jalapeno. I think that's this one, right? That looks like a cheddar jalapeno. You know what? Let's try it. Let's try a bite of that one. I'm going to just eat it plain. Let me grab a bite of that one. Let's see how that one goes. Right, so I keep it real on my channel. You know that if you watch me. I keep it real. So I'm... It, like I said, what's what, right? That does look like cheese. Looks like there's some jalapeno possibly in there. Let's try it. We'll probably find out if it's got some heat to it. I don't taste a lot of I don't taste anything hot uh, that might have been just the Asiago cheese so we're running into some dilemmas right trying to figure out what's what could that be the plain one or could that be Asiago cheese I think the one I had was supposed to be the jalapeno one that one's warm still that's the plain one definitely got to be the plain one well one thing for sure i know that's a blueberry so i'm totally confused at this point as you're watching this you're probably like what is this guy doing but this is the way it is man i'm just showing you the way it is i just want to try it uh without anything on it just to, to see how it tastes that is definitely blueberry I don't taste a lot of blueberry. I mean, I just had a bite, not like blowing me away. One thing I'm learning now is looking at these bagels. They all look, which it does say, most of them are a plain base. So they're taking a plain bagel like that and then they're just putting a topping, right? Same with like the one I just ate, right? So it's a plain bagel and they put the cinnamon and sugar so i actually only get cinnamon and sugar on one side of it as well so i'm just reviewing it guys it's up to you to make your decisions i'm going to tell you that that side had a lot of the cinnamon and sugar but the other side did not you can see a little bit there but yeah so they're good I mean they're good it's just confusing when you're eating them because i don't know which one's what and it's again with the spreads you got to kind of they all look very similar don't they so they, they're very similar looking so i should have probably said oh can you put a sticker on one or whatever but as i have my little bag of bagels and there it is again jeff's bagel run i think this place would be awesome at the beach like you walk in, you know, at the beach, man, like hanging out and on the boardwalk or something. Oh, let's grab a couple bagels. 
Um, like I said, I think that it's, and I want to be clear, this is a soft opening. They're not like, this is not like their official grand opening. So we'll cut them a little bit of slack there. I'll come back and try it again, but the, the, the service was great. Like all of the employees in there were very, very nice. They were friendly, they were informative. It would probably be good though if you're buying multiple bagels, some kind of a label system. Maybe they could come up with a chart with a sticker and say, here, the, the, the red sticker is this one. I don't know, something like that to make it a little easier because it does get confusing because unless it is like, if it is a plain bagel base with the different added tops or ingredients, it's hard to distinguish what is what. So when you have multiple, that's where you can find a problem. Same thing with the spreads. Some of the spreads are distinctive colors and things, you'll know, but mine were all kind of similar, so I didn't know which one was what. But those are minor things that will probably be worked out. Let's try the coffee. Ah, coffee's good. I like mine. This is just iced coffee with a little little bit of cream. Tastes tastes good. Ah, heading back, guys. back the same way I came I live just short distance here I usually walk I will also work at Publix I walk to work quite often and today is an absolutely beautiful Florida day I hope you enjoyed our vlog on Jeff's bagel run we have some awesome vlogs coming up too we are gonna be doing another Disney Resort um, before we do our cruise we're doing a Disney cruise as well all gonna be here on Medling World guys and what you see is what you get i'm not gonna overblow things when i eat it i'm not gonna say oh this is great when it's not i'm gonna give you my real honest opinion that's how i vlog that's how we vlog our channel um i liked jeff's bagel run for what it is i think it's a place if you wanted one bagel you go in grab a spread and go one great thing about it is the price it's not very expensive Two bucks for a bagel i mean you know you could literally go in there and spend a couple bucks grab a bagel and go um so yeah i think that is going to be fine it's a soft opening uh the overall experience will get better they'll probably come up with a way like when you buy multiple bagels that you can tell because that was the big thing for me was it was difficult to tell what bagel was what i don't want to bite them all right so guys thank you so much for watching meddling world Please take a moment, subscribe to Meddling World if you haven't yet. Thank you to our Patreons. And last but not least, see ya!